said that. Uh oh, I'm out. <laughs> now I'm really starting to see differences between having a full term and a preemie baby. I just colored this with one crayon and it's pink, purple, and blue. It's so fun. Next up is sleeping, which is like non-existent for Bria. Good morning. Cheese. Have what? Cheese. I don't think we have cheese right now. <laughs> it's Saturday, so Eric is home, which is very exciting. So I have big plans. I need to clean out Quinn and Bria's dressers and closet so bad. Everything is just like stashed in there. Like I literally still have some of Bria's newborn clothes in her drawer and I need to get out her next size, which is six to nine months. I do not know how the time is going so fast, but somehow she is moving up to size six to nine months. Quinn said that? Tower. Well, we probably shouldn't jump in the tower because you don't want to fall out. Jump rug. You can jump on the rug, yeah. What's that? That's avocado. Is that yucky? Nope, it's not yucky. Oh, uh, yummy? Yummy, yes. Mommy, will you jump? Baby, baby, get bigger, eat some. When she gets bigger, she will eat some. Yep. Mommy wants some, Daddy wants some. We all want some? Daddy too. Daddy too? Quinn want coffee straws. I don't know if coffee straws work good for smoothies, because smoothies are thick. Thick? Thick. We're having toast and smoothies on the couch this morning. Breakfast is always more fun when Eric's home. He's sitting right here, you can't really see him. <laughs> on another note, Quinn and Bria are matching. How cute is this? I've only had them match a couple times since Bria has been born, but they're in some new pajamas and they're matching and it's the cutest thing ever. Today's video is actually sponsored by Walmart, which is so exciting. One of the outfits that Quinn wore all the time last fall and winter and even in the spring was from Walmart and I would get questions about it all the time and it was from Walmart and it's so affordable, so cute. Bria's pajamas were $11.95 and Quinn's were $13.57, so very affordable and super cute. We got some other new things too, so I'll show you those pretty soon, but I'm very excited about them. I think they're perfect coming up for fall and just the rest of summer. This is Bria's first time wearing six to nine month pajamas. I've put her in a couple outfits that have been six to nine, but the last couple days her feet have just been like pushing in the bottom of her pajamas. I think I might do a little six month baby update in this video because I did eat all the toast. Bria turns six months in a couple days, which is insane. All right, we're all dressed for the day and Eric and I are going on a date today. I'm very happy about that. I think I actually, yeah, I vlogged the last time we did. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog today. We don't even really know what we're doing yet. <laughs> we were gonna go kayaking, and then we kind of don't have enough time to do that with everything else we're doing today, and then we were gonna go golfing. Also don't have time for that, so we might just end up going to eat somewhere, but that's fun too. Eat, eat? Eat, yeah. Do you like to eat at restaurants? What do you eat at restaurants? Um, food. Food? What kind? Mini Mouse. <laughs> Both of the girls' outfits today are... Yes, I am sitting in Quinn's little chair. <laughs> Both of the girls' outfits today are also from Walmart. As soon as I saw the color of this, I knew it would be so cute for Bria. So this outfit for Bria was $14.95 and it's literally the nicest pattern and it's the cutest color on her. And then Quinn's was only 10, 18. One of our favorite things to do since it's been nice out is ah, do art and crafts and stuff outside. We just got these new confetti crayons and they're so fun. They're like two-toned. So every crayon when you're coloring with it has like two different colors coming out. 
and Quinn loves anything that has to do with art, so this is so fun. Like this one right now is coloring pink and purple. There's the eyes. I would have loved these as a kid. Her fast eyes. Yes. Look, her fast eyes. Fast? No, 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 fast, do fast hair. Fast hair? Look it, there's your pigtails. No. Here, I'll do another one for you to color in. Who should this be? Um, popcorn, mommy, daddy. Mommy has pigtails. Mm -hmm. I don't have pigtails. I have long hair. Tails. Oh. Tails. Okay, you're right. I do have braids today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. These crayons are actually so cool. I just colored this with one crayon and it's pink, purple, and blue. That's so fun. We've been having Quinn pack a little backpack to go to my mom's house. One of her flashcards we've been doing with her is pack a bag. And she never really had to do that for anything. So we've been having her pack a little backpack. We got some books, her new crayons, and her goofy. Okay, you want to put it on? Okay, ready? Wait. One arm. And other arm. <laughs> ah! There you go. Looks good. Mm -hmm. We just finished eating lunch for our date. It was really good. Now I requested to go get dessert, which is very rare. This is always Eric's idea. She actually got dessert. dessert and I didn't get anything. I don't know if that's ever happened. I'm like wondering if you're okay right now. <laughs> I'm just so full. And what do we do in the car while we're away from the kids? We've been talking Talk about, about them. the kids. <laughs> Without fail, every time I get one of these, it falls off the cone. So this time I remembered to ask for a cup. We are back home from our date. That was a lot of fun and we need to do that more often. But we picked up Bria from my parents' house. Quinn is still sleeping there so Eric's gonna pick her up when she wakes up. I wanted to film Bria's six month update or I don't know if it's five or six months. She's turning six months in like three days. So I guess I'm gonna call it her six month update. I don't remember what I did with Quinn's but she fell asleep in the car on the way here. So while she's still sleeping, I'm going to do this. I did a bunch of laundry last night because I knew I was going to be going through a bunch of the girls clothes today so I just wanted everything to be clean so that if it can if it needs to be put away it's already clean and ready to be put away so I think I'll just do this laundry while she's still sleeping and then when she wakes up I'll do her six month update we could fly. laundry put away and folded and Bria is still asleep so I'm going to I guess I'll start clearing out some baby clothes I kind of don't even know where to start honestly I think I'm gonna start with Bria's stuff because there's more of that and like baby clothes that needs put away than Quinn's it's kind of embarrassing but I've kind of just been stashing stuff in this one shelf when Quinn grows out of it because I don't know where else to put it. So today is the day to fix that problem. I need to get these bins down and start going through stuff again. It seems like I just did this, but apparently it's already been like seven or eight months because I definitely did that in like November or December. I think it was December and it's already July. I'm actually embarrassed to show this, but <laughs> here is Bria's dresser. I've just been cramming things in here too. And there's literally like, zero to three month clothes still in here i wouldn't even be surprised if there's still some newborn clothes in here i just didn't have anywhere to put it so now everything's just a mess and every day when i go to get an outfit out i go crazy because it looks so bad in here i'm just gonna take these bins into quinn's room and put away all of the smallest stuff i guess okay she's awake so we're gonna do her six month update how are you six months i feel like there is so much to update on too because I haven't done one since for one month, and I can't believe it. Say hi! <laughs> so 
So first of all, she is now in size four diapers. And I think that's mainly because she is so chubby. She is a chunk. And if you watched my day in the life video, I said that Quinn and Bria are both in the same size diapers and they're both in size four. I really think it's because Bria is so chunky and then Quinn is like getting taller and so much skinnier now. She's losing all her baby fat, which is sad. Because of that, they're both in size four and Quinn only wears them for sleeping, but still it's actually so nice to only have to buy one size of diapers, only have to keep one size of diapers in the diaper bag, and I always keep a stash of diapers at my mom's house, and I only have to do one size now, so that part of it is very convenient. So for clothing size, I mentioned earlier, she is now in six to nine month clothes. This little outfit is six to nine month, and that's what I'm getting out for her today is all of her six to nine month clothes, putting away the three to six. Next up is sleeping which is like non-existent for Bria. <laughs> this is something else that is so different from Quinn because Quinn was just like an amazing sleeper right from the start. And right from the start, Bria was too, but once she hit five months, it's like any of her good sleeping habits just went out the window and she wakes up multiple times in the night now, doesn't want to go back to sleep. It's not even like she's really crying, she's just like, up and awake and wants to play. It's not like I can just like leave her and let her fall back asleep because if I leave her, then she wants, then she'll probably start crying. And like our room is right next to Quinn's room and even with the sound machines going and stuff, she would definitely wake Quinn up if I let her like cry it out or whatever. So that's not an option. She also rejects almost every nap during the day. <laughs> Like, I cannot believe how little she sleeps. I've never done like a sleep training course or anything and I still don't plan to even though we're struggling because I know myself and for me, it would stress me out more to be following a plan and things not go the way the plan says they should be. For me, it's better to just try my best and not follow an entire plan and schedule and all this stuff and have it not work. I did look up online when she was about to turn five months and this was all starting. Um, I looked up like a five month sleep schedule for babies and it was the taking care of babies schedule online. And it's not part of the course that you pay for, it's just like her recommended schedule. And I tried to stick to that. It just, no matter how hard I tried, it just isn't happening. So I think maybe around like, Somewhere in four months, she started going through a sleep regression and I know the four month sleep regression is a thing, but now she's about to be six months. So I'm like, when is that gonna be over? And is this still sleep regression? I don't know. I also think it's teething. So I'll just talk about teething next. Um, she's teething super bad. Quinn didn't go through teething until she was like one and a half, or not one and a half, but like 14 or 15 months. And we're going through it now with Bria, which is kind of funny because like literally two summers in a row we've been going through teething now because last summer it was Quinn and this summer it's Bria. Poor baby is definitely teething. She wants to bite and chew on everything. I can feel one spot. It's like in the corner right here where it feels like I think she'll get her first tooth. I could be wrong, but it's like a lot harder than anywhere else on her gums and whenever she chews on my finger or something, she like does it right there. So I feel like that's probably where she's gonna get her first tooth. Pretty sure teething is why she's kind of like this right now too. We did start solids with her this week and I gave her some sweet potatoes and she liked it. So I've given her sweet potatoes a couple more times since the first time. Okay, I put her in front of me because she did not seem to want to sit up anymore. Anyway, I've given her sweet potatoes a couple more times since the first time and she has liked it every time. She's just starting to be able to sit up without support too. So I've been having her sit up in the boppy a lot just while we're playing with toys or whatever or while I'm reading her a book. Lately, if I have her sitting in front of me on the floor, I'll kind of back up a little bit and she'll sit there for a few seconds. It's always when she like turns to the side and notices that I'm not right next to her that she falls over. So it's probably a mental thing. We're gonna keep working on that. I'm still not the greatest at doing tummy time. I don't know, I feel like so many moms feel like they're really bad with tummy time. And I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, that was not even really a thing when we were growing up, like when me and my sisters were growing up. and. 
all of our necks worked fine and we crawled and we walked and yeah so that made me feel less guilty about being bad about tummy time and she's right although there are so many good benefits to doing tummy time and i do still try to do it with her sometimes i feel like at the beginning i felt super guilty that she hated it so much so i was bad about doing it with her but then i'm like yeah i felt like i was bad about it with quinn too and her neck works fine she crawled she walked she stands and <laughs> Everything is fine. Okay, I actually don't know how much she weighs. I skipped her last couple doctor's appointments. I was gonna have to reschedule one of them. I think it was her four month one. And then I just never rescheduled it. And she's probably supposed to have a six month one and I'm probably not going to do it. I've kind of just decided at this point, unless the girls are sick, I'm not going to take them in. If you feel differently about that than me, that's okay. But that's my decision that I'm making. I did take Quinn in for a lot of her checkups up to one year just because of being preemie. But since that's not a concern with Bria, I can clearly see that she is gaining tons of weight. She's eating good now and she's happy and healthy I don't see the point in going in so we do have a skill here I want to weigh her sometime soon but we haven't in a while so I don't know how much she weighs I give them both vitamin D regularly I have Quinn eat healthy we spend lots of time outdoors and Quinn has only had a runny nose like one time in her life so far and I took her in to the doctor last fall because I felt like she might have a cold or an ear infection or something and she didn't. They said it was probably just her teething. That might be a controversial thing and if you disagree with me, that's okay. And you can take your kids to the doctor however often you like, but I'm just gonna take them if they're sick. That's what they did in the old days. I think that's everything for her update. So I'm gonna start, I'm probably gonna take her out um, Eric's working in the garage. I'm gonna take her out in her little activity center with Eric while I organize the clothes in here. the week she was born. It's actually so stretchy, I wouldn't even be surprised if I could still fit her in this. Peace, fairy tale and fantasy, but somehow I believe. I'm kind of sad to put this one away. It's her name sweater. It's actually, I almost feel like I could squeeze it on her to take one of her pictures still, but I don't know. I should probably just put it away since I'm putting everything away now, but. This ocean tide and as the wind to sing It catch a gust and find our stride See what the deep blue I got both bins gone through And I literally had like everything from zero to three Up to what she's in now, like six to nine months So that definitely needed to be gone through Now I'm gonna fill these up with the clothes she's actually wearing right now And put all of that in these bins somewhere. This is why it was still in there because these bins are still full of like other clothes that doesn't fit. I have to find somewhere to put this stuff plus Quinn stuff that doesn't fit anymore. So update, I just found a bin of more six to nine month stuff. So that helps that I can get some of this stuff out. And obviously Quinn was in this size during Christmas because it's all like her Christmas clothes, six to nine months. Paradise is waiting for us. Follow me, my girl. We could fly. We could fly. We could fly. We could fly. We are making progress. I'm almost done with Bria's clothes. These are all things that I just got out for her, and then that's a little pile of stuff that I'm deciding what to do with, put it away or keep it out for now. So these are mostly six to nine month clothes that will fit her now, and this one on the end I'm really excited about because Ashley's baby, Ella, had this, and I've seen her wear it a few times, and I loved it, and then I found it at Walmart for Bria. It's the softest, stretchiest fabric. This one was only $11.59, and it's super nice quality. Also, not that this matters in the least, but I think this this is gonna look so pretty with her hair color. I just love the color of this. She found out what he meant by sickness and in health. A fine illusion of happiness, a faint smile through the mist.
I have a new organizing buddy, but I'm making progress. So I have these bins so organized now and some of the stuff is still washing like some of the new things and things that I just now got out in this one I just have pajamas and there's more of those washing and then in this one I have more out type outfit type things so just her day-to-day -day clothes that she'll wear and she already has been wearing some of this and then some of it I just got out what's crazy is the knees of the six to nine month pajamas that I'm getting out that used to be Quinn's are literally like stained dirty they're clean I washed them but they're stained she was already crawling and pulling herself up on things when she was wearing that clothes. So she was almost 12 months and Bria's wearing it at six months. One of you actually asked recently if I'll film like a video about what it's been like, the differences having a preemie compared to a full-term baby. And before someone even asked that, I was thinking that would be a cool video to film. And the fact that somebody is interested in seeing that, I definitely want to film it because up until Bria was like five months, I would say, it seemed like everything was almost identical that happened with Quinn and Bria as far as like what they did as a baby. They're sleeping and eating even though Quinn was bottle fed but once Bria hit five months it was like Quinn at eight months or nine months. Now I'm really starting to see differences between having a full term and a preemie baby. I'll probably film it closer to when Bria's one just so that I will have experienced a whole year with a full term baby because that's when like so many milestones are hit and everything. So I feel like if I filmed it now, there will still be so many things that I would wanna add to it at the end of a year or something and I could film another one, but I probably won't, so. Okay, I just cleared out this whole section that I showed before that was just stuffed with Quinn's clothes that was too small. I managed to fit everything in the bins, but I mixed sizes that like, some bins have three different sizes of clothes. In my mind, it drives me crazy to know that there are sizes mixed in all these bins, but at least I don't have to look in the closet and see stacks of clothes sitting there. I'm just glad that I got it to all fit in there and I can put it away and organize her shelves better. That looks so much better. I'm still in desperate need of some bookshelves on one of the girls' bedroom walls, but for now, this is working. I organized some of Quinn's closet too. So these are some of her most used summer clothes right here. And then up here I have like dresses or little rompers or overalls and stuff. And then her jackets that aren't used as much right now. This is a drawer I did not get to. So I know there are things in this drawer that need to be put away too, like this entire stack is stuff she hasn't worn in months and I know it's too small for her like it's literally 12 months <laughs> I'll have to get to that another day these are her pajamas and then these are just some like t-shirts that she wears pretty often I do still need to put these things away this is going to go in her closet and then these are some pajamas but how cute are these these are both from Walmart too this dress was only $9.97 it's adorable I feel like she will wear this so much coming up in the fall then these pajamas have little sunshines on them and they feel like the nicest fabric and these were $14.80 I did get these pajamas in 3t for her even though she's in 2t just because a lot of Times lately when I've been finding new clothes or whatever I will get the next size up because sometimes she can fit in it and then it'll fit her longer the pants do look like super long for her because she is short but I actually think the shirt might fit her pretty soon we're all done organizing I'm so glad I got that stuff done but it's definitely something that needed to happen now we're just chilling out on the deck for a little bit it's a nice evening it actually feels like fall right now again she's a child after my own heart she loves to do art crayons markers paints all of that stuff these are so cool they're twistable colored pencils I don't remember them having these when we were kids I remember the twistable crayons but they're so fun these were only $2.93 from Walmart hey do you want to show what you made at Grammy's house today do you remember what you made what is it circles circles maybe green Green circles? What about that? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's dry up now. It is dry now. My mom did a little craft with Quinn while she was at her house today. What is it? Grammy. Well, but what is this? Bumblebee. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, orange. That's okay. Mommy said, oh, 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 oh. I said that? Oh, 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 oh. 
um, color this clear. You can color it. Are you doing purple? Yeah. And look, on shine, right? What are all these colors? Um, blue, deep, What are deep, they? Deep, deep, What's that blue, one? Layer. What? Yellow. Yellow? What's this one? Um, orange. What's that and one? Green. That, what's this? Blue. Came apart. It doesn't come apart. What's in there? That's the pencil in there. You see that? It's the purple pencil. See, right. can I color some of them? Sure. Thanks. Hi guys, it's the next day and I forgot to film my outro to the vlog. So I hope you enjoyed seeing Bria's six month update. I hope you also enjoyed seeing some baby clothes organizing. I always think those kind of videos are so fun to watch. So I thought I would put it in. I'll put links in my description for any of the Walmart clothes or the arts and crafts things that I showed and talked about in this video. If you would like to shop Walmart's back to school styles, you can shop at walmart.com like we did or you can go to your local Walmart. I think that's everything. I will see you in a couple days with my next video. Bye guys. Paradise is waiting for us. Follow me, my girl.